What's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Blacks in Motion right here at BVN at 8. And as always, as always, it's your boy Cliff here giving you the hottest news in sports. Now, sports, that's what I'm supposed to talk about. But this is my first broadcast after our national presidential election. And I have to sound off a little bit. I, I won't say sound off because, you know, the results are the results. And no matter who I voted for, no matter, no matter who you voted for, Donald Trump is going to be our president. And that's cool. That's not a problem. He won fair and square unless we hear otherwise. And that's okay. I'm a little surprised by the results, but that's not a huge problem. But because this is Blacks in Motion, it's a sports show, I'm going to tell you how this national election figures into sports. I'm going to tie the two together. Because, see, the first thing I want to say is, is that sports is a great platform for players and different people to take stances against something that could be going on in regular society. You know, this election result kind of upset some people so much. Head coach of the Detroit Pistons, Stan Van Gundy, one of my new favorite coaches in the league, came out and said, look, and I'm paraphrasing here, yeah, this dude is Donald Trump. He said he hates this, hates that, he's done this to women and this and that, and y'all actually had the audacity to elect him as president? What does that say about us? What does that say about the voters? He just was bewildered, just as I am. And he's saying that, hey, that guy necessarily doesn't represent what America is supposed to be. Now, this election also brought out something a little strange. So we all know about Colin Kaepernick. He's been kneeling through the national anthem because he feels like people are not being equal. And during this election process, we've been seeing that somebody who seems to not see everybody equal is Donald Trump. But guess what? Colin Kaepernick didn't even vote. Really, Colin? Now, we can say, hey, one vote may not have changed the outcome. You're right. But one thing as a citizen, just like you take your right to kneel, you need to take your right to vote. Because when you tell that to somebody like Cliff, you lose all credibility in that department because you didn't actively participate in that civic duty. Because, see, when I vote, and if my vote seems like it don't count, I can say the first thing out of my mouth is, I voted and. But you can't even say that, Colin. And I, and I love what you're doing. Continue to do it. I think more and more I should be put on the subject of inequality in our nation. But come on, man. You have to vote. You have to participate. And then start telling me about how that participation may not be garnered the right way. Come on, Colin. Come, come on, brother. Let's get back on the wagon. Another weird thing that happened, and this may be the weirdest. Head coach of the New England Patriots, Bill Belichick. Well, it was found out that he sent a supportive letter to Donald Trump congratulating him on his winning the presidency. Now, check this out. We all know that anybody, your vote is your vote. You can be whatever. And guys that are usually wealthy, they usually vote in the more conservative way because they have to vote in terms of their money. And it's cool. But this is my problem. We know that Donald Trump has spewed terrible, terrible things about other races, religions, different sections of people, what he's going to do to them. Bill Belichick, you're the head coach of a football team. And on any given Sunday, you are going to have a whole different types, different types of demographics hit the field. Anytime you look at the NFL, whether they're playing, whether they're praying in the middle of the field, you are the head coach on a team that is made up of diverse people. And if you support somebody like that enough to write them a letter, where is your mindset? If I'm your player, do I trust you as my head coach? That's a justified question I have. Now, don't mean that you're a bigot. Don't mean that you're a racist. Don't mean that you hate me. But it begs for me to have that question. And to tie this fully into sports, see, that's what I'm talking about. Society, we sometimes forget it and get it flip flop. Sports is not above society. Society is above sports. Sports is one of those arenas that is the most sacred because it doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what uh, color your skin is. It doesn't matter what type of family you came from because when you hit that field, it's about skill, speed, strength, decision making, all things that are totally objective. But yet, as you can see, because society trumps sports, no pun intended, please believe, no pun intended, 
you will always see these type of things leak into something like the sports arena. But I love it because the sports arena is one of the most popular arenas in our society today. And there you can tackle some of the issues that we face every day. Now, I already know plenty of y'all are going to have much to say, and I'm ready for it. Hit me up, Cliff, at blackvideonews.com. Go ahead and like this video, and go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can stay and hear what I have to say so you can dispute me, agree with me either way. But what I want you to do is always stay logged on and love us right here at Blacks in Motion.